Today we are going to do an experiment on validation of Bernoulli's theorem. Bernoulli's theorem is basically the conservation of energy. So, for a steady, inviscid and incompressible flow, uh, pressure energy, kinetic energy and potential energy uh, at each section is conserved and this is what we will be validating. In this case, we will be measuring in this tube where the axis can be taken as the datum and hence the potential energy is same. I will explain the setup first. So, there are 8 nanometer tubes here and there is a circular uh, section with a truncated cone attached to this where we measure the pressure. There are two valves, the output control valve and this is the input control valve and this is the pan to hold the water. Now, um, these seven tubes are attached to the static ports along the circular section and the eighth tube, eighth uh, tube is an attached to the pita tube here which is, which can be adjusted by rotating the screw. This is the stagnation port in the tube where the fluid stagnates and the total pressure can be measured. This is connected to the last nanometer tube to measure the total pressure. Uh, uh, remaining 7 ports are connected to the 7 nanometer tube. This is the third wall. Uh, there are two parts to the experiment. First is filling up of the nanometer tube. And second is the actual verification of Bernoulli's theorem. So there is a procedure uh, where how to fill this tube without any air bubbles. So let me show you how. First, let us check both the control valves are closed. Let us switch on the setup. No. Let us open the outlet control valve completely. And now open the input control valve. Now the water starts filling up in the nanometer tubes. Now let it settle without any air bubbles. Slowly the air bubbles are reducing. As the air bubbles have settled, close the con uh, output control valve. And close the input control valve. Now switch off the pump. Now let us drain some water by opening the output control valve to get the same initial height. Third valve is open. Slowly open the control valve. Now as there is no decrease, we can give some pressure using this double action pump. Now you can see the water level decreasing. It's a good practice to keep a small initial height. So, so we can see a good uh, pressure head variation once the experiment starts. So let us keep it a very small initial height of 100 mm. Now observe the water level. So in the 7 ports, the water level has decreased. But the 8 ports is taking time because it's measuring the total pressure. It will take some time to come to the same level. Once it reaches the same uh, height, close this output control valve. So now the height has reached almost the same level. Let us move on to the next part of the experiment that is the actual ver verification of Bernoulli's uh, theorem. So here, uh, let us now close this third valve. Let us switch on the setup. Now, uh, let us open the con input control valve and give some initial flow rate. So the water level has increased now. Now it has increased. We are reducing the level by giving the output flow rate. That is, we have to adjust both the inlet valve and the outlet valve to get a uh, nice uh, variation in uh, pressure head. So I am now. Opening the output control valve. Now we are getting a nice pressure variation among the tubes. Now we have to adjust the input control valve. So we want to set a particular flow rate. Let us say 600 liters per hour. 
adjust the input control wall to close the signalometer forever using this wall and this wall we are able to obtain a pattern for the uh, pressure head since these ports are connected to different area cross sections there is a good velocity variation and hence there is a difference in pressure head now to take the readings uh, adjust this screw and move the spitter tube to the port 1 spitter tube is here measure the static pressure and measure the total pressure now using the screw again move the spitter tube to the next location this is for this port now measure the static pressure in the second nanometer tube and the total pressure in the last nanometer tube now the total pressure will take some time to settle down since it's a reading from the pitot tube will take some time so we'll wait for some time when it settles and take the total pressure like this for each port the static pressure and the total pressure has to be measured to verify the barali theorem the pressure head and the velocity head uh, has to be equal to the total head velocity head can be found by dividing the flow rate with the area cross section and all the areas are given to us in the experiment so we can get the velocity head now to verify the bernoulli theorem add the pressure head and velocity head and uh, check it with the total head obtained from the pitot tube this is basically the overall idea of the experiment now uh, in a real flow there is a friction force along the tube therefore the total pressure of all the ports does not remain constant we have a decrease along the tube this is not considered in the bernoulli theorem and this friction losses are due to the boundary layer formation inside the tube uh, the energy is lost as heat now there are some possible errors in this experiment like uh, there are there is bubble formation inside the tubes or friction in the tubes and observational error while noting down this reading and then there could be external disturbances causing or uh, oscillation of this reading and also uh, there could be water leakage through the pitot tube so all these things could cause the errors now we have come to the end of the bernoulli experiment now we have understood the bernoulli theorem and verified it let us look at some sample calculations now for a incompressible steady and inviscid flow the bernoulli theorem is given by pressure head kinetic head and the potential head so some of these three energy is constant now between any two sections it can be written in this way also since there's no change in the potential head the axis can be taken anywhere and the potential head does not change between any of these sections hence the total head is given by this expression now uh, for a real flow there will be viscous losses that can be found by subtracting the total head for any two sections here is a sample table the raw data that is collected from the experiment for a flow rate of 600 liters per hour we measure static pressure and the total pressure for each of these sections and one data is given as a sample so the area of the sections are given here this will be given to you for calculating the um uh, calculating and verifying the bernoulli theorem so let us look at the calculations so the velocity for each section can be found by dividing the flow rate with the area cross section and as we know from continuity that a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 the velocity varies for each section due to the variation in area so the dynamic head is given v square by 2g and the velocity found here can be used to find the dynamic head and the static head given by p by rho g is already measured as hs in the experiment this is the static port that is connected to the manometer tube for instance for the first section the first tube measured the hs and the total pre uh, total pressure measured as hpt or from the pitot tube the last tube measures the hpt and the 
calculated total head can is given by the addition of or the sum of hs and uh, dynam uh, v square by 2g so this is the pressure head and dynamic head so these two can be added and found uh, and the total head can be found so these two ne are needed to be compared this is given by this table so for each flow rate a table like this has to be made so here one sample calculation is given for the section 1 we have the flow rate converted into meter cube per second now divide this by the area to get the velocity and from there the dynamic head and this is the measured static pressure from the first manometer tube and this is from the last manometer tube for the section 1 and this is the total head that is calculated by adding these two so as we see the measured and the calculated total head is very close to each other similarly for each section we need to find the total heads ideally they have to be constant for all the sections and for also between the calculated and and the measured but as we know along the section there will be a decrease in pressure head the decrease in the total pressure head due to the uh, viscous losses the energy will be lost as heat so a plot a sample plot is given here here you can see that with the decrease in area cross section the velocity is increasing hence the dynamic head is increasing and then decreasing with increase in area similarly the opposite happens for the pressure head static head so the total head that is addition of these two and also the measure is given by these two lines as we see it's not constant but it's decreasing along the section due to viscous losses this is to get an idea on how to plot and how to verify Bernoulli's theorem that's all about the experiment thank you